Hi guys, welcome back to our episode 5 of our great United States playthrough in Victoria 3. And things have been going very well externally. We've been asserting our influence uh, in Mexico. We took a lot of land off Mexico in our last war. Also fighting Russia, kind of. Um, and we are starting to colonize very, very effectively over here, as you can see. Uh, very effectively in Africa. It's a bit of a mess right now, but we're going to start cleaning up as our infamy ticks down. I think below, uh, once it gets below 15, we're going to have a look at potentially taking over Futajalon as a state. We might puppet some of these guys. Like Sokoto, I've found, especially in my Netherlands campaign, is a good one to puppet. It has a lot of population. Um, and it likes to, uh, you know, build on itself quite nicely. Gives us access to their market, and it's just a lot less infamy than taking all these states by themselves. So, we will probably puppet a couple. Oyo and Benin are always fantastic places to take, guys. 1.6 million, 1.7 million people in these two different states here. And their buildings-wise, they don't have a huge amount. But there's ability to build cotton, coffee, and sugar down here as well as dye. So really, really good states. And rubber later on as well. One thing that I haven't noticed. Look at this. Look at this. Go on, the boys. The British proletariat revolt. Oh, that is glorious. Oh, my days. <laughs> They're trade unionists and intelligentsian government. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> is this a time to strike against Britain then? I don't know. Maybe it's a time to strike against the Hudson Bay Company. And uh, take Washington, Idaho, and Oregon up here. There's not much there really. Is <laughs> there's literally nothing here. There's a few people. Uh, there's not much I really want from this area though what do they have they have gold fields and gold mines up here in bc but everywhere else not a huge amount coal would be good up here in alberta saskatchewan more coal i mean those those are decent decent places to take i still don't think even with this going on in their homeland that britain will be easy to beat I think they're going to clean this up quite quickly. But, I mean, the proletariat as well has got the main chunk of the island of Great Britain right now. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, they just they just instantly died. I, I don't know where that came from. But they instantly died. And it's still Queen Victoria that's, <laughs> that's leading the way. She just snapped her fingers and they were gone. <laughs> just like many people... That she snapped her fingers for. Uh, historical joke there, guys. I uh, hope you appreciate it. Uh, meat is very much not back on the menu, guys. Oh, sorry. I, I watched Lord of the Rings last night. So, <laughs> meat is not back on the menu. So, we should... Um, yeah, we need to build some more. That is, That has come down hugely. That is really, really, really good. And we're still building more textile mills. But we need more fabric still, even still. And then we need some more meat. So I am going to build some more cotton. And I'm thinking about building it in, say, South Cameroon. They've got 253,000 uh, peasants there. In fact, is that the most? No, the Niger Delta still. 442,000 peasants there. Well, I think that's going to be the option. I'm actually going to build a whole 20 of those. We really need to start upgrading our construction capacity very soon as well. Our money situation isn't great, but uh, we should be okay going forward. So let's build that. And then what was the uh, the next thing on the list? Meat, wasn't it? I mean, the clothes we should be getting rid of now. A lot of this will definitely be due to unavailable clothes, like unavailable fabric. Because we have a deficit of fabric. So I think once we get that deficit of fabric back up, we will be fine. Um, and then... Oh, what was the next one? It was meat, wasn't it? So we need to get to livestock. And do we go for... Let's build seven in Pennsylvania. And then let's have a look. 
Baiho. Yeah, let's build some in Baiho as well. And then we will build something in uh, South Cameroon. Uh, let's go for a trade agreement with France. At the minute, it's fine. We don't need um, to be taking money off, off them. So we are... Uh, importing a lot of furniture. We're expo Why are we exporting so much fabric? This we all have a deficit of fabric. Protect our domestic supply, please. Please protect that domestic supply. Plus twenty percent tariffs on imports. There. Yeah, that should help. That should definitely help. Uh, we're not really exporting much else. Some small arms. Uh, I don't want to encourage Im exports, but because we do need our own small arms, of course. We are America. We love arms. We know we love weapons. So uh, yeah, we we don't want to take too much out of that, but it's fine. Right, Guarami against Argentina. Okay, cool. Take it, Argentina. <coughs> Excuse me. We shall just take it later. Okay, it looks. Like, Britain's been busy in India. Fighting Hindustan. Okay. Gold is depleted in Alaska. Ha! Russians fools! I want Alaska, Russia. When will you sell it to me? <laughs> I'll buy it off you for two shekels. Annex Nayamwezi. Okay. France has also been busy. Oh, god damn it. Oh, wait. Who is this? Futatoro, right. Wait, Britain? That's a, that's a tiny little place, Britain. Leave it alone. Well, do you know what? While Britain's doing this, let us uh, let us get in on the action over here. And we'll get Rufus over there. Get him advancing to there. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the exploit doesn't work anymore. I mean... I mean, that's, that's obviously, obviously makes sense. It shouldn't work. But hopefully, no one's going to join each side. Britain's already in their own play. France has just finished a war. So I'm kind of hoping... That's mine. Uh, Britain, I'm going to say that I can be swayed to your side. Because if we're in a war with Britain, they can't join a war against us. Uh, Futa Jalon, in here, what do we have? We have logging camps, livestock, cotton, banana, dye, tobacco, sugar, and millet farms. That's actually quite good. Ten barracks and some conscription centers. 458,000 people live here. That's a lot. Uh, oh, Futa Toro actually backed down. They're now a puppet of Britain, so they didn't even conquer it as a state themselves. I mean... When you don't have multiculturalism, it makes sense to puppet a lot of these places. But when you have it, you just accept these cultures, so it doesn't matter anyway. You just take it for yourself so you can have direct ownership over it. Most of our people are not happy with us. Um, which is quite upsetting, really. And there's no real laws that we want to pass, especially not ones... Oh, we could go for propertied women. I mean, the evangelicals and the southern uh, planters hate it. Uh, but women in the workplace, uh, it's, yeah, it's too soon right now, especially after they were just trying to take one of our, uh, they were just trying to create a revolution, right? The Republican Party, we need to bolster the sport for the Republican Party so they get more legitimacy. Um, so, yeah. If we had a bit more authority, I would start bolstering their support. France has joined their side. Wasn't France France just lose against Kong? <laughs> well, if France, if you're going to do this, you realize I'm going to take this as an opportunity. Now, where we've got to choose our target carefully, though. Whereabouts will France? Hmm. Where else do we want to take off France? I mean, I would. Uh, we don't have that as a. Um, yeah, we don't. Unfortunately, have Kenya, uh, East Africa as a interest area. But 
Oh, god damn, France! French got on. How is that seven in for me? It's literally just that little area. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that. I'm also going to add Ivory Coast. That's 19 in for me, really. Uh, what about over here? French Senegal would be good. French Heroland, which is there. Oh, God. Why do you have to do that? How much infamy are we now? 37. I think I would like to add some other stuff, but oh well. Attack there. Uh, we're going to start mobilizing a few conscripts just because we are going to be at war with France. Let's go for some of these bigger ones. Pennsylvania, definitely one we want to go for. Georgia, I'll take. Take Massachusetts. Take New York as well. And that should hopefully help us quite a bit. So, over here. Yeah, we've only got two guys, but they should start filling up. Yeah, 42, 41, and 37 troops. And over here, we don't have anyone. I'm thinking we recruit another general then. Uh, recruit a general. And we can go for the Midwest HQ. Yep, let's go for that. And we will go for his direct. He's wounded already. What did you get? How did you get wounded, bro? Uh, this guy's actually really good. He's a bit of crazy bastard. He's for the rural folk as well, so we'll take him. Uh, and then we will get you mobilized, my friend. And we will send you up here. going to be a bit annoying fighting France. If they just backed down, that would be lovely. Come on, Britain. You know you want to be swayed. You know you want to be swayed, Britain. I was helping you. You helped me. I mean, they have helped us very much along the way. I mean, <laughs> at the start with the Civil War, <laughs> that was one of the big things. Let's have a quick cheeky look at our market. And yeah, again... Iron, big issue, coal. All the sort of the things for industry have become big issues. And we just can't get our priorities quite straight at the minute. Yeah, they've not backed down, so they will lead to war. So we've got eight there. That should be... Wait, why are we fighting? Oh, yeah, Futajan is who we're going after. We should beat them very quickly. Over this way. France has 139 goddamn guys here. Still five days away. Are they going to get there in time? Oh, they just did. They did. Just in time. Just in time. And they've got another 142. <laughs> they've got another 142 guys over here. How do they afford this? I wonder what those troops are like. Show me your troops. They are skirmish, mobile, cavalry scouts. Cool. What am I like? Skirmish, mobile, cavalry scouts. And we could have first aid as well. But no, it's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, they're absolutely... France is demolishing us, but... But we have taken Futajal on quite easily. Just need to cap off this last little region. Yep. Cool. Taken. So now we have a lot of troops on that border and none over here. So I'm thinking... You go to that front. And we're just going to try and defend against France. I don't fancy having a really long, drawn-out battle against France. I mean, they didn't add any war goals themselves. So I think the same thing's going to happen as happened with Mexico. Uh, so we want the Republican Party to win. Uh, yeah, we want the Republican Party to win. 
So not the Democratic Party, because that's the Southern planters and the Evangelicals. God damn no, we don't want them to win. Um, but I think, yeah, the same thing's going to happen as happened with the Mexico War. Is when uh, Futa Jalon capitulates, we just win because France has no war goals to, in to enforce at all. Is that something that AI is going to do from now on? Because that makes wars a lot easier. You don't need to fight France, like, at all, really. It's going to be a bit annoying, have a bit of devastation in our lands, but... Oh well. Oh well. Like, as long as Futa Jalon capitulates soon, we shouldn't have too much devastation. Oh, devastation. Up here is not great, but... Obviously, we're not going to be able to enforce our goals against France... But, okay. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I just want food to drill on. France can have their little little outcrop there. We'll take it eventually. And if we don't take it, we'll box them in. So, high attrition. 29% attrition. Wow. Okay, so we took food to drill on. And they're happy with a, with a white piece. Oh, wait, we conquered Guinea. Wait. Yeah, well, that was Futa Jalon. That wasn't France. Uh, yeah. So now we have this sliver. And we want to start slowly getting through those. Does that mean we have a truce with France? Yes, it does. So they should not join any more wars. Problem for us is that we are infamous now. So once we're back down below 20, I think we'll look again. Uh, yeah, 30,000 government expenses, really, for 20% less devastation. I think we'll take it. Or was it three? It wasn't 300,000. It was 30,000, but oh well. Uh, and we're good. And we're still building more textile mills. That's cool. Now wood is a problem. Iron, meat, coal, yeah. And then we get down to sort of a lot less. Oh, just had steam pop up on me then. I, I don't know why. Uh, what do we got? Furniture's fine. Liquor is good. We're taxing that still. What have we got surplus on? We've now got a huge surplus on fabric when we had none before. We've got a great surplus on tools. That's great. And services. So that is really good. That should really help. Surely that's helping our standard of living. A big surplus on paper. With surpluses on some decent stuff. Transportation. Yeah, we need railways. Yeah, railways are very expensive right now. I think clothes, wood, and iron are still big issues. Wait, what is this now? Oh, that's their market. Um, let's go for... I mean, we're building the textile mills that we need right now. They just need to... I mean, we've built an absolute load of them. I know it has come down by about 600. So that's okay. And then we'll look to build some more wood then. Some more logging camps. And I'm thinking very much like we go for the Niger Delta here. Um, we should have enough market access. And if we don't, we can only get to 10. So we're going to have to build some in South Cameroon as well. And we'll build 10 there as well. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave Ohio for now. Then what was the, uh, yeah, meat, which we've already got queued. And then some more iron mines, which is really surprising, honestly. I'm going to build 10 in Baiho. Baihio. I don't know how you say that exactly. It would be great if someone could let me know. Right. I think we're doing well, though. Socialism is unlocked. Good. Council Republic, uh, Communist Party, and political agitation. Cool. I mean, we're happy in our political system right now, even though our internal stability is not so high, seeing as a lot of people are unhappy with us. We need to get our authority above 200, ideally. Um, yeah. And then we're also now bringing market access to a lot of places. So, yeah. Our ports, for example, if I press play... <laughs> So the ports in South Cameroon, Gabon, Herrera Land, and Namarka Land. And then also government administrations in a lot of places to try and get our bureaucracy back above positive. 
the ports. And then we've got railways in Virginia and Colorado to try and increase the market access there as well. Where else do we have low market access? Pennsylvania. Really? Hmm. Build that. How much is the infrastructure out by? Oh, that is a lot. That is a lot. So we're going to have to build... I'm going to build three. Because... Were we not building something here? We're building another textile mill. And we are also building a lot more livestock ranches. So, yep. Yeah, we want three railways there. And then... North Carolina is also low. Let's go for that. How much is the infrastructure out by? Oh, that'll be fine. Uh, what about Arizona? Build a railway. How much? Oh, yeah, that's that will be plenty. New York again is out. So we need another railway or another port. I think a uh, port. Build two ports. And then we got Missouri. Let's go for railway. Then, yeah, Colorado. Did we not already build it? Yeah. Nevada, again, a railway. I'm assuming just one railway. Oh, two actually this time. So railways provide 20 infrastructure. That's how I'm looking here, guys. I'm looking at this. It's using 24 infrastructure and we only have one. So we want to build two railways because they only provide 20 each railway um, to bring them more out market access. And then we have Alabama. What are you? 33 out of 25. So one railway should be fine. Facts. Port. Yeah, let's go for one railway. Uh, yeah, one railway in Alabama. And then Maine. How does this... Uh, yeah, so plus five infrastructure from the port rather than 20 from a railway. So it is better to build the railways. And so we have... That was Maine, wasn't it? So Virginia. Yeah, we are building one in Virginia. And I think we queue those to the top as well. Market access is quite important. The government administration, of course, is really important as well. So, yeah, we've got 33% tax rate waste right now, which is ridiculous. It's a lot. Um, yeah, construction... We're only on iron frame buildings. I'd love to get to steel frame. We just don't have the cash, though, either. Even if we did go to steel frame, we would not have the cash to support it. Play for power. I do not want these guys to have any more political strength than they already do. They won't be angry now. They'd still be unhappy at minus nine, but it's not going to make too much difference from the seven. Goddamn France. Just go away. Can we, like, block them off, please? Same over here. Block them off. <laughs> Do not let France keep colonizing around here. Ah, we've missed this one. Should have started that earlier. Then we can hopefully just chain across. I want to kind of control this whole region. I mean, a whole of Africa would be nice, but we're not going to get to that point. Uh, yeah, government wages. Hmm. I mean, more taxes, more radicals, and our standard of living has actually decreased quite a bit recently. I wonder why that is. It's probably because we've taken new lands over, honestly. Taken a lot of new land, and these places don't have the same standard of living as we do. Look, they have no access to the American market as well, so that's going to be a big point of contention that we need to sort out. Uh, so I'm going to wait until these government administrations are done, and then we're going to bring these up to the top. Yeah. They don't take too long, the railways, either, as a building uh, as a building endeavor. Government administrations take quite a while, honestly. Should help with our bureaucracy. It's not bringing it down by a huge amount, but it's bringing it down by some. And you can see it instantly does help with our money. So secondly... We're just kind of behind. We seem behind in everything right now. Is there anywhere with low taxation capacity? New York and Niger Delta. So we're going to have to build some more of these in New York. Let's build um, six more in New York to bring it up to 20. And then Niger Delta. How much do you need? Well, let's go with uh, 
Four more to bring it up to five. That should hopefully tip us over the edge into positive. But that will be done after the market access. So, like I say, it's uh, it's a bit of a balancing game right now. We are... I just feel like we're sort of behind in a lot of things. Um, we've kind of overextended ourselves maybe a little bit. Um, our colonization is going well, but it is incredibly annoying that France has got here as well. I was hoping that we could just block off the rest of the Europeans from getting to this whole region, apart from Portugal, of course. Um, but it looks like we are going to be scrapping with France over here. Luckily, uh, colonization isn't taking too long anymore. We're building government administration down here as well. Interesting. Um, yeah. And I think once that's once these are done, we'll uh, bump the all these up, including the railways and the ports and all that sort of thing. In fact, let's just do it now so I remember. All of you to the top, my friends. All of you to the top. There we are. Bring out the maps and the straight edges. Along with new means to prevent malaria, has made us serious contenders for colonial control of the uh, of the place. Oh, we just we got it. How quick are we colonizing now, then? 40 days! Oh, baby! Take that, France! Fuck you! Yes, France! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, stupid France. Oh, that is brilliant. Sorry, 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 France. <laughs> sorry. Oh, right. Um, that minus 5% bureaucracy is going to be very nice. Um, the prestige, I'm not bothered about. Uh, we could look for... I mean, I, I've really not done any military uh, technology, have I? Uh, military uh, syllabus, that's quite a decent one. I think we need to look at our construction. So, we have... Where is our construction text? Like, uh, where's the concrete? Am I just being dumb right here? We've got steel working. Uh, yeah, here it is. Reinforced concrete. Where's the next? Pneumatic tools. Plus 25% building hardwood output. Plus 10% constrictor sector throughput, which is great. That's 10% quicker. And 25% resource d discovery chance. So that's one we can get from there. But we need the rotary valve engine. That really does increase our, pro uh, our production. I think we're going to go for the rotary valve engine. It only takes 22 months. And then we're going to go straight for pneumatic tools. 10% construction throughput. It's 10 years ahead of time though, so maybe not. Go for sh vacuum. I want things that have direct impact without me having to change anything on the actual buildings. I know that sounds a bit silly. Uh, dynamite is 25% resource discovery chance. I mean, that's good. That is definitely good. Um, but is it better than minus 5% Bureaucracy. I don't know. Oh, we here have here as well. Steel frame buildings. I forgot about this side. Yeah. Added infrastructure from population as well. It only adds plus five construction sector max level, but it does allow us to change our construction type. Um, our construction building in here to the steel frame buildings which if we get rich enough we will do we just need to get rich enough which difficult <laughs> wait we only have six interests now applied so let's um do we apply for east africa is there anywhere where we can actually colonize over here let's have a look not unless we come all the way across so do we, like, over here there are places to colonize. And that's pretty much the sort of last places in the world is the East Indies. I mean, I want to spread my legs. I want to expand throughout the world. And it makes sense. It's just a colonial empire on the other side, isn't it? What's this? The Solomon Islands. Are you an, an actual incorporated state? Like, I don't think we can colonize you, can we? You may be Micronesia. Impassable Micronesia. 
Well, let's uh, declare for, uh, our interests over here. And let's also declare our interest in Oceania. And once they've come in, once those interests have come in, we will start colonizing over this region. But look at that. Suck it, France. Look at that. Speed. Let's see how much it is. Oh, no. It's still... Seven what? Why is that 700 days? And this one's only like 20. Like, let's have a look at this. That one's 50 days. These ones down here are 50. So why are you 700? And this one's 700 as well. S severe malaria. I guess this one doesn't have severe malaria. These ones don't, but... So look at the state. This does have severe malaria. So why are these not getting the bonus? I don't quite understand that. Well, I'm sorry, Britain, but you now have a bit of a rival, I'm not going to say. Oh, my God. We can just colonize everywhere over here. Um, I'm not sure how I want to, like, everywhere, because it's going to just... Like, how long is it going to take? I only bumped it up to 100 days, bro. That's... That's insane. <laughs> that is insanely good. That That is genuinely insane. Um, and it very much looks like we're going to take... Over a lot of this area. Whole population of 13,000. So it's not the most... <laughs> the most impressive area, but... We'll be fine. I mean, Papua does have a lot. We're also colonizing down in Noonga. <laughs> Australia. American Australia. Can you imagine how crazy Australians would be if they had a bit of American mixed in as well? Oh my god. I can't imagine it. <laughs> Spread the word. Bring the gold. Now, we've still got the inefficient... Okay, so we, yeah, they're all isolated now. So every single one of these regions needs a uh, port. <laughs> so we need to go through them all, make sure that we uh, add a port on. I don't think ports take a huge amount of time to build. So um, we went Western New Guinea and then we go North Island. So we should probably again put this to the top. We are basically... I don't know. It's We're kind of scrambling with our buildings right now. Just finding issues and trying to solve them. I mean, that's not too bad as a policy, but it does kind of put you on the back foot, doesn't it? All the time. Let's go for Eastern Micronesia, and then let's go for Tahiti. Uh, Solomon Islands and Tonga. Cool. Fewer gold fields. Ah. Okay, cool. Right then. Um, let's have a look at what we want to do. What we want to do. Um, this region, it needs to be ours. I'm not going to lie. But I'm just so glad we've got such fast colonization right now. Hopefully. Why will you just... Yeah, I'm glad you're taking the coast so no other goddamn filthy European can come down here. Look at this now. 1,883 days. <laughs> That's fine, though. No one's going to get to here before we do, unless France slowly makes its way up. It's more this area that, that I want you to just kind of block off. Uh, same with over here. If you can keep blocking off this uh, area and then just block off France against Portugal, that would be fantastic. We'll have this whole area to ourselves then. Okay. Looks like they are going to start to try to do it. Uh, and then, yeah, we are just colonizing so quickly over in these regions. This is fantastic. Where's Viristat? Oh, it's it's not it's not our region. That's uh, actually in uh, the Boa Territory in South Africa. Right, guys, I think we're going to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Uh, I've really enjoyed this. I am enjoying this series. Hopefully more and more of these will be coming out as we're going along. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.